All right. Let's go ahead and get whatever you need set ready for our practice today. If you need blocks, a strap, um, a pillow, if you need to sit on a pillow, we're going to start off in our simple cross leg pose. We're going to start up and we're going to start off just maybe rocking it a little bit from side to side or rocking it from front to back. Just beginning to ground, beginning to quiet everything, beginning to settle, beginning to slow the thoughts, slow the body, especially if you've had a crazy morning so far, or even if not, or if it's been a really slow morning and you're like, I need something to amp me up. This can help too. This can help bring some regulation into that nervous system. Just a little bit of grounding, a little bit of rocking from side to side, or a little bit of rocking from front to back, just to begin to root yourself. And as we are rocking from side to side or front to back, we're going to begin to turn those, turn that movement into some torso circles. And usually I go pretty fast in these torso circles, but we're going to go kind of slow to begin with so that you can make that entire big circle. So that might mean that your hands have to like lead you around or not, <laughs> just depending on, uh, on the balance issue today. Just making those torso circles pretty big so that you can maybe feel it in low back, mid back, hip flexors, I even feel it in my feet actually too when we do this. And then let's go ahead and take those torso circles going the other way. So nice big circles moving the other way. <laughs> I love I love these leggings, except I realize they're like out of all of my leggings, they're like magnetic for any sort of like I just vacuumed. And any sort of hair that was left over, they're all, it's all like, it's so funny. It's just like, what's going on? They're, they attract the hair. Well, and I've got a dog right here too. So that, that might be something. Good. Let's go ahead and bring this back to center. Ah, bring this back to neutral. Very nice. Let's inhale and sweep our arms up. A big sun breath. And exhale it out. Good. Let's go ahead and roll our shoulders. I know our arms aren't very warm yet. We'll get those arms warm so that we can do more of that sun breathing. So rolling our shoulders back. And then go ahead and roll that forward. Good. And then let's roll those shoulders back again. And roll that forward again. Very nice, shake out those arms a little bit and inhale and sweep it up and exhale it out. And again, inhale and sweep it up and exhale it out, roll our shoulders, roll those shoulders back and roll those shoulders forward. Good, relax those arms. Let's go ahead and drop our chin towards our chest. And then lift our head center, take our eyes to sky. And chin back to chest. And eyes to sky. And chin to chest. And eyes to sky. Good, head back to neutral. Let's look to the right. So looking to the right, thinking about our chin going over towards our shoulder, but not bringing our shoulder to our chin, trying to get as much mobility in that neck and then bring that to center. And then let's look to the left. Same thing, try and get mobility, stretching in that neck. Good, and then bring that to center. Drop our right ear towards our right shoulder. Maybe you wanna release that left arm. And then let's take our right hand, just a gentle pressure above that left ear, barely touching that head, just gentle pressure. Good, lift that head up to center and let's go ahead and drop that over to the other side and maybe releasing that right arm and barely touching above that right ear. Ooh, I feel it on that side. Yeah. Good, bring that back to center, drop our chin to chest. 
right ear to right shoulder, chin back to chest, left ear to left shoulder. And let's do some neck circles here. So these nice half neck circles. Good. Warming up that neck, finding some mobility there, warming up those shoulders, continuing to warm up those shoulders. Very good. And go ahead and drop that chin back to chest, lift that head up to center, roll our shoulders back again, and then roll that forward. Big deep inhale up. And exhale it out. Inhale and sweep this up. This time as we exhale, let's either clasp our hands behind us. You can grab for your wrists, or if you wanna use a strap, you can also hold that strap or a towel if your shoulders and chest are still, um, aren't very mobile or are cold, or you've got some um, flexibility issues going on today. Remember, every day is different. So using whatever you need to help support you in your practice today in this present moment. Let's look to the right and let's look to the left. Bring our head back to center, bend at our elbows, take our hands over to right waist and let's squeeze that elbow back. So we're kind of, we're, we're opening up that chest, the pectoralis muscle and the shoulder. We're getting a little tricep here too. And we're definitely getting a nice shoulder stretch on the left side. On the other side. Let's go ahead and switch so we get that nice shoulder stretch on that right side and then that chest muscle, that pectoralis stretch right there and elbow going back towards the spine. Good. Very nice. And then let's release that. Shake that out. Inhale and sweep this up. Let's drop our right hand down, reach over with the left. Let's keep our left glute, left hip, Planted as much as we can into the floor. So trying not to allow that to lift up so that you get that wonderful stretch up the, the lateral side of the body. Good, let's take this to the other side. Let's inhale and lift this up. And then exhale, drop this down, reach this over. Ooh, right side of my body today, I'm feeling it. Right there, yeah. Really reach through that and breathe through that. If you've got any tightness like I do, Make sure to make your breath a little bit bigger, a little bit deeper. That will help. Good, inhale and sweep this up, clasp our hands at the top, exhale, press our palms towards the ceiling, lengthen up through that torso, lengthen up through our rib cage, through our arms. Ooh, yes, maybe looking up at your fingers if it's available to you. Yep, and then looking straight out. And then over to one side and over to the other side. Good. Let's do three side breaths here. Inhale it deeply. And exhale, big side out. Good. Two more times. Inhale it deeply. And exhale, big side out. Good. One more time. Inhale it deeply. And exhale, big side out. Good. Bring those arms out in front of us. Let's open up our arms out to our peripheral vision. Take our palms up, make some fists, roll our knuckles in towards our wrists, over-exaggerate that bicep curl. Let's arch this into a nice, what is this, cow, and then round it into a nice cat. We'll just do a few of these right here, a nice little seated cat and cow. Taking that at your own pace, opening that up. Ooh, that feels good, because you might want to <laughs> spend some time if one feels really good, very nice. And bring this back to neutral, back to center. Open up those arms and take our arms down. Roll our shoulders back and roll that forward. Inhale and sweep this up and exhale it out. Inhale and sweep this up. Let's drop our left hand to our right thigh. Right thumb, let's go ahead and follow our spine down towards the floor. Ooh, and do our spinal twist. First spinal twist of the practice. And breathe. Good, bring this back to center. Inhale and sweep this up. As we exhale, this time our right hand's gonna go to our left thigh, left thumb. Follow that spine down and twist. -wee. Do that nice spinal twist here. Oh, yes, this side of my body. 
<laughs> I need to, I need to initiate or utilize that deep breathing today. Ooh, and I am going to, because that feels good. <laughs> wow. Like, what did I, oh yeah. Good, bring us back to center. Inhale and sweep this up and exhale it. And again, inhale and sweep. Let's do our twisting once again. So let's go ahead and take left hand to that right thigh again, right hand behind us, and twist it even more. Maybe you're able to get a little bit deeper. Inhale it deep. Exhale it out. Good, back to center. Inhale and sweep this up. Let's twist to the other side. And inhale it deep. And exhale it out. Good, and bring this back to neutral. Inhale at center and release that very nice roll those shoulders back if you're sitting on something let's go ahead and move that off to the side so that we can begin to warm up our mid body and low body so leaning ourselves back let's go ahead and take our legs about as wide as our hips you can go even wider if you want or if you are lateral on your mat then you can have your feet as wide as the mat and let's go ahead and begin to drop our legs from side to side, pull. Yeah, that feels good. Very nice. Good. Let's go ahead and keep right leg in front. We've got this nice right zigzag. So sit this up very tall. And let's go ahead and twist over to our left side first. So a tall twist to the left. That feels very good. Maybe even lean. Let's go ahead and lean too into that left side. Ah, very nice. And let's bring this back to center and our big twist to the right. Big twist to the right. You can take that um, right arm as far behind you as you want, but trying to keep at least that foot, left foot, left knee, into or as close to the floor as possible. That hip and that glute will probably lift up unless you're super hyper flexible. But, oh, enjoy this deep spinal twist here. Breathing it, breathing it, using that inhale and exhale. Very nice. Let's bring this back to center and let's go quick twist for four. Take this for four and center. It's three and center. It's two and center and last one and back to center. Good. Let's go ahead and square our torso right in front of our thigh and do a simple little hinge forward. So it's our first tiny itty bitty baby pigeon. Like it's a pigeon that's still in the egg. <laughs> it's a baby pigeon. So just little, little, just to begin off, to start off with. If you feel like you'd like to go further, if you're like, ooh, this feels like I need to go deeper, then you can go ahead and lengthen through those arms and take yourself down a little further. But remember, wherever you're going to go on this side, you want to do on the other side as well. Ooh, that feels good. Very nice. Let's go ahead and press ourselves back up, lean ourselves back, and take our legs side to side, windshield wiper here again. And up from side to side. Good. And then let's go ahead and let's keep that left leg in front. Sit ourselves up tall, a little twist, and maybe a lean into that right side. Oh, yeah. And then bring this back to center nice and tall and big twist. Big twist to the left, yes. And breathe it here. Nice big deep breath. Wonderful breathing here. Good, and bring this back to center and let's go quick for four. Let's take this for four and center. It's three and center. It's two and center and last one. Oh, and back to center. And then let's go ahead and square our torso right in front of that thigh. This side to look for 
stiff, not as mobile as the other side, and taking ourselves right to where we were on that other side for that little itty bitty pigeon. Very, very nice. And let's bring ourselves back up. Let's go ahead and lean it back. Take our legs nice and long, except let's keep a, let's keep a bend in our knee and feet flexed. And let's go into a boat pose. So let's go into our modified boat pose where we kind of get to hold or keep our heels on the floor. And we're gonna lengthen through our arms. We've got ourselves right here in this nice strong boat pose. Now we're starting to engage that core, starting to warm up that core area, starting to warm up our quadriceps. You can feel that burning there a little bit. And let's do a few breaths here. Let's breathe it, inhale it deeply, and exhale it out. And a big deep inhale. And then exhale out. And one more time, big deep inhale. And an exhale out. Good, and now we get to go into reverse table prop. This is one of my favorites. Let's take our arms behind, up, behind us, fingers facing our feet. Let's go ahead and plant our feet into the floor. We're gonna lift our pelvis up off the floor. Ah, so good. I love this one for, it's such a good bicep stretch. Such a good bicep stretch. Such a good core strengthener. We've got our feet nice and planted. Yep, we've got our heels planted, we've got our hands planted, we've got our neck nice and neutral. So it's not way back here and it's not way up here like we're not looking down at our belly. It's just a nice neutral soft neck or strong neck. Just holding this. Let's hold this for a few more breath cycles. And maybe my hands, sometimes my hands start to like tingle, go, go numb when I'm in this position, but it's good, it's okay. All right, let's go ahead and drop that pelvis down. Let's find ourselves back in that modified boat. So let's lengthen out through our arms again and let's do a breath here. Inhale it deeply and exhale it out. Good, let's do one more breath. Inhale it deep and exhale it out. Good. Take our arms behind us. Now you have the option. We're either going to go into reverse tabletop again or reverse plank. So it's up to you. Reverse plank is a little more challenging because you have less of your feet are not holding you. It's just your heels. So we're either going to lift that pelvis up. Either way, you're going to lift your pelvis up, but you've either got your feet flat on the floor or you've got your heels pressed into the floor. So you're either in that reverse plank or that reverse tabletop. Both super good for warming up, strengthening that core, those arms. Very good, keep breathing here, inhaling and exhaling. Neck again, still nice and neutral. Very good. And let's go ahead and drop that pelvis down. Simple cross-leg pose, sit this up tall, hinge this forward. So we get a nice opposing stretch here. And then release that. Let's go into boat pose, modified boat, one more time, or supported boat, because our heels are pressed into the floor. Lengthen through our arms, lean it back as much as you can. Nice, strong neck, strong chest. Keep our shoulders away from our ears. And let's breathe it here. Inhale it deep. And exhale it out. And inhale it deep. And exhale it out. One more time, big deep inhale. And exhale it out. Wonderful. Let's lengthen through our legs and sit straight down on our sits bones. So let's find our staff pose. So one of our most difficult poses, our staff pose, because we are the ones holding up our core. We don't have a wall behind us. We don't have anything behind us. We are holding everything up. You've got those feet nice and flexed, toes, we're imagining our toes are going right to our shins, legs are flexed, quadriceps are strong, torso is strong. Let's reach up through our arms, three breaths here. Inhale it deeply 
and exhale it out. Inhale it deeply and exhale it out. And inhale it deeply and exhale it out. Wonderful, let's bring those arms down. Bring our right leg in. Bring that right leg nice and close. Give that right leg a nice big hug. Left foot, left leg stays active. Let's take our right over left and let's wrap that left arm around our right leg. Let's take our right thumb, follow our spine down just like we did earlier. Ooh, and get that wonderful twist. Yes, and let's keep that left foot active. If that means moving it, then feel free to do that. Because sometimes there are days when I'm like, oh, so if I move it, then I'm intentionally keeping it active. Good. And let's go ahead and switch it to the inside. So switching it to the left, right here. Nice twisting to that other side. And again, keeping that active. Today is one of those days where I have to be intentional about my movements. Good, and bring this back to center. Let's take that bottom of the foot to the inside of the thigh. And let's go ahead and actually hinge this forward. You may not be able to go very far. I don't because my hip flexor and my hamstrings are very tight. We're just gonna go forward a little bit. And then we can take our peace fingers and either reach for that big toe or hand to the shin. Or if your flexibility, if you're having flexibility issues, you can have your hand on your thigh as well. We just don't want any pressure on the kneecap. We don't want anything on that knee joint. Good, and let's go ahead and release that. Very nice, find ourselves back in our staff pose. So sitting up super tall, lengthen up through our arms, three breaths here, inhale it deeply and exhale it out. And big deep inhale and exhale it out. And again, big deep inhale and exhale it out. Good, release that down. Let's bring our left leg in. Give our left leg this nice big hug. So hug that, hug it, hug it, hug it close. Very good. And then let's go ahead and take that. Left over right, keep our right foot flex. Let's wrap that right arm around our left leg and ooh, spinal twist, spinal twist it here. And breathe. And then let's twist it the other way, twist it towards the inside. Good. Breathe that there. And bring that back to center. Let's go ahead and take the bottom of that foot to the inside of that thigh. And actually, let's hinge it forward first. So it might be a small hinge, and this side is even smaller than the other side. Ooh, this leg is tighter, the hamstring is tighter. And then let's take our peace fingers and either for the big toe, the hand to the shin, or the quad. Good, and then release that, very nice. Let's take ourselves into a bridge, so let, or into some bridge work. So let's grab a block, and let's take that block between those knees. I like using the block because I like having those um, inner thighs, having to work the whole time. It's very good, it gets some extra stuff done. So we've got our feet lined up with our knees, our knees lined up with our hips. Let's go ahead and we're just going to lift our pelvis up towards the sky. And then let's go ahead and slowly lower our pelvis down towards the floor. As we are doing, go ahead and do these lift and lowers, just a few of these at your own pace. But as you are doing this, try to begin to imagine your spine and imagining that you can see each vertebrae or that you can feel each vertebrae and you're pressing each vertebrae into the floor as you go down 
and lifting with that pelvis and then lifting each vertebrae as you come up. So taking that slow enough that you are articulating each part of that spine. This is just a little bit more warm up, just a little bit more preparation for that low back, mid back, upper back, spine, for that core. Good, just doing a few of these lifting and lowering. And then we're gonna add in some holding and breathing. So on this next one, let's go ahead and lift our pelvis all the way up. Maybe walk your feet a little bit closer. Maybe your shoulders can go a little bit more underneath you because we're gonna hold this bridge here for four breath cycles. So let's inhale it deeply and exhale it out. And a big deep inhale and exhale it out. And inhale it deeply. And exhale it out. And one more time, big deep inhale. And big deep exhale. Good, and my shins today, usually <laughs> that's not a place where I feel things, but I am feeling it, feeling the bridges in my shins today. And you might be feeling it in some random places too, or maybe it's the normal places, but it's really good to recognize where you are feeling the movements and the holding and the breath and these poses at. So good to have that insight into your own body and what's going on. So we're still holding that bridge though. We're still holding, not holding your breath though. You're still breathing. We just didn't have those intentional breath cycles. And we're going to slowly lower our pelvis down towards the floor and then gently release that. And we can release that block. Let's reach behind our right thigh to pull that in. Very nice. Let's take our right ankle to a nice figure for a piriformis. Right ankle is going to go on that left thigh. And let's go ahead and press our inner right thigh away with our right arm. So pressing that away from us. Get that manually opening that hip. Very nice, release that. Let's reach behind our left thigh, pull that in and give that a big hug into your chest or belly. <laughs> um, I'm not so flexible that it's up into my chest, but just to my belly. And let's take our ankle, left ankle, place it on our right thigh, figure four on this side and press that away. Press that hip, inner thigh away. and then release that, very nice. Let's drop both of our knees over to one side, take ourselves onto our side, and then let's press ourselves up onto all fours, and we'll go into cat and cattle. And you can place that block where you want it for our sun salutations when we get there. So we'll get into some nice um, all fours and our nice quadruped position. So our shoulders are over our wrists, our hips are over our knees. And let's go ahead and drop our belly to the floor, take our eyes to the sky, nice big deep inhale. And from here, round our spine, chin to chest, exhale. Drop that belly, inhale. Round that spine, exhale. Drop the belly, inhale. Round the spine, exhale. Drop the belly, inhale. Round the spine, exhale. Good, nice neutral back. Let's lengthen up through our right leg. Lengthen through our left arm. So we find our nice balance bird dog right here. And then let's go ahead and take elbow to knee six times. So let's bring some for six and reach. Here's five and reach. Here's four and reach. Three and reach. It's two and reach. And last one, let's reach it and hold it. Good. And then let's go ahead and release our arm. Release that leg, very nice. Cat and cow again, drop that belly, inhale. Round that spine, chin to chest, exhale. Good, flatten through our spine. And let's do that bird dog on the other side. So let's go ahead and lift our left leg, lengthen through our right arm. Finding that nice balance here. Elbow to knee six times on this side. So let's bring this in for six and extend. 
here's five, and extend. Here's four, and extend. Here's three, and extend. It's two, and extend. And last one, and extend. Good, release the arm, release the leg. Very nice. Let's take ourselves back into our child's pose. So glutes are gonna go back towards our heels and lengthening through our arms, lengthening through that torso. That feels really good. It feels really good on the fronts of my feet, fronts of my ankles. I have a feeling my um, yoga in odd places today, which is good. It's really good. It's good for me in different spaces today. Looking at the hands, walking our hands over to the right. Let's take that left hand, place it right on top of that right hand. That left glute is going to try and get to that left heel. And breathe. Good. And then let's go ahead and walk those hands over to the other side. So walking hands over to the left. And let's take our right hand on top of our left. Try and get that right glute, that right heel. And breathe. Good, let's bring this back to center. Very nice. And since we are on our knees, let's go ahead and go into, actually, I told you to put your block where you wanted it for sun salutations. Go ahead and grab that block again. Let's go into a little bit of camel's pose. So we can take one block and let's take that block in between our feet. If that, if your flexibility and your shoulders won't let you, then go ahead and put this block on the outside of your right leg. Let's go ahead and lengthen up through our arms and we're gonna reach our right hand, either we reach your right hand for that block, wherever it is placed. There we go, that's, that's how I can say it, that's how I can speak today. And we're lengthening up through our left arm and we've got this wonderful, <laughs> nice camel's pose. Is it a modified camel's pose? Because we're using the support of the block wherever it is at. And you can be looking up at the hand. You can be looking out or down. The neck is wherever it feels best for you here. Breathe. Good. Inhale and lift the arm up. Release our arms to our side. So. You can move that block. We've got our right leg. Take our right leg off to the side into gate pose. So we're going right into a nice gate. So reach up through this, getting this wonderful stretch, side stretch in the leg. And we're just gonna do a gate and a side stretch here. So reaching this over. Very good. And then inhale, lift this up and release our arms down. Now we get to take that block either back to the center or to the left side so that we do camel on the other side. So let's reach our arms up, keep our right arm up, and let's take that left hand and reach that left hand back for the block and lengthen through this side. Feels very good. And either looking up at the hand, out or down. And breathe. Good, inhale and lift this up. And then release those arms down and let's do gait on the other side. So taking that other leg out to the side, lengthen up through this nice gait. And let's go ahead and drop that arm to the leg, to the thigh and reach that over on this other side. Ooh, that's good, very nice. And then release that. And now we can place the block where we want it for when we get to sun salutations. Let's take ourselves back onto all fours because we're gonna go into our downward facing dog. Let's curl our toes under. We're gonna keep our knees bent and we're gonna go into our first inversion. We're gonna bring our head lower than our heart as our glutes lift towards the sky. So we're lifting our tails to the ceiling. We're lengthening through our spine, stretching through those arms, through those armpits, through those shoulders, relax that head and neck. 
Good, and then begin to pedal our heels towards the floor. Pedaling those feet. That feels great. And breathe. And let's find some stillness here in this downward facing dog, heels towards the floor. Very good, let's lift our heels up so we're on our toes. I keep looking at the toes, I was like lift the toes, no, lift the heels, and let's drop both of our heels over to one side. Lift this to center, and drop heels to the other side. And lift this to center. And let's walk our feet to meet our hands until we're at a standing forward fold at the front of our mat. And you can have your blocks pretty close to you. We're not going to use them at this very moment yet. We're going to allow ourselves to ragdoll first. So planting our feet, rooting our feet, pressing toes, heels into the floor. Allow that upper body to kind of dangle over. Just allowing yourself to fold in half here. Feeling that nice, wonderful stretch in the hamstrings and the glutes, backs of the legs. Let's take opposite elbow with the opposite hand. Make a frame for that head. And Good. Go ahead and release those arms. Just let that dangle again. And let's take those blocks. Let's inhale, lengthen through the spine, the nice flat back into a tabletop, and then exhale and release. Good. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up nice and big. Exhale around the chair. Inhale and lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale it around to take or to chair, not table to chair. Good. Inhale and lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Nice flat back. Exhale and release. Right foot's going to stay forward. Left foot's going to go back into a nice lunge. Left hand is going to stay on the block or on the floor. And let's go ahead and open up our right arm into a spinal twist with a lunge right here. Good, and breathe. Let's bring this to center. Take our foot back to meet the other foot into a top of plank. Let me recline that a little bit. Right. So that nice top of plank, shift our weight forward. Drop to fronts of our knees, uncurl our toes, heart's gonna go down and heart is gonna lift up, baby cobra. Curl our toes under, lift them for us. Downward facing dog and breathe. Good, let's walk our feet to meet our hands. Standing forward fold at the front edge of our mat. Inhale, nice flat back. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale it around a chair. Inhale, and lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and flat back. Exhale and release. Left foot's going to stay forward. Right foot's going to go back. Right hand is on that block or on the floor. And let's go ahead and spinal twist that open to the left. And bring this back to center. Take our foot back to meet the other foot. Top of plank. Good. Shift our weight forward. Drop to fronts of our knees. Uncurl our toes. Take our heart to the floor. Lift our heart up off of the floor. Baby cobra. Curl our toes under. Lift and press. Downward facing dog. And breathe. Ooh. 
remembering that our down dog is where we recover. It's our recovery zone. Good, let's walk our feet to meet our hands. Standing forward fold, and let's do a few more of these sun salutations. Good, inhale, nice flat back. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale it around the chair. Inhale and lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, flat back. Exhale and release. Right foot forward, left foot back into lunge. Left hand on block or floor. Spinal twist, open to the right. Bring this back to center. Take our foot back to meet the other foot. Pop a plank. Good, let's shift our weight forward. Drop to fronts of our knees. Uncurl our toes. Heart's going to go down. Heart lifts up. Curl our toes under. Let them press. Downward facing dog. And breathe. Walk our feet to meet our hands. Standing forward fold. Front edge of our mat. Inhale, nice flat back. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale and around the chair. Inhale and lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, flat back. Exhale and release. Left foot forward, right foot back. Right hand on block or floor. Yes. Yay! I did it. And we're smile twisting to the left. Bring this back to center. Take our foot back to meet the other foot. Top of plank. Nice, strong top of plank here. Let's go ahead and shift that weight forward. Drop to fronts of our knees. Uncurl our toes. Heart's going to go down. Heart's going to lift up. Curl our toes under. Let them press. Downward facing dog. And breathe. Good, let's walk our feet to meet our hands. Standing forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale around to chair. Good, holding here in chair. Bring our hands to heart. Let's go ahead and take our right leg back first. So we'll keep our left leg forward. Right leg's gonna go back. Right heel is lifted, and let's take ourselves up into standing crescent. Woo! Feel that in your back. That heel is lifted. We're in this nice standing crescent. From our standing crescent, let's go ahead and open this up into warrior two, proud warrior. Relax your face, but everything else is strong here. So <laughs> keep it there. <laughs> and from our, our proud warrior, let's go ahead and drop our back arm, take our palm up, peaceful warrior. Good, reaching through that. Ah, very nice. From here, let's take it back into our warrior two, proud warrior. And from this warrior two, let's go ahead and release our front leg. So both of our legs are now straight. Let's take ourselves into our triangle. So let's lengthen down through this. And I'm going to use a block. I love using a block in triangle. You don't have to. You can have a hand on shin, or if you can reach down for the floor. But lengthening, ooh, lengthening through the torso on both sides of the torso. So thinking about a lengthening through those arms, through that torso, and through those legs, and breathe. Good. 
And then let's bring ourselves back up into warrior two. So bend through that knee again. Very nice. Holding that warrior two. So lots of warrior two today. And actually, let's go ahead and lengthen back up through that leg. I was like, okay. And let's walk that back foot in. So walk it in heel toe, heel toe. And we'll add in our um, pyramid and go into our balance. So let's take our hands to prayer at low back. And let's turn our torso. And let's go ahead and flatten through that back into pyramid. Ooh. Nice strong pyramid here. And then from here, we're going to move it into our balance, warrior three. So whatever that looks like, you might be up on that toe. You might be lifting and lowering. You might be able to hinge and hold that balance. But remembering whatever you're doing on this side, you want to be able to do on the other side as well. And arms can be wherever they feel best for you. They can be on your back. They can be out to the side. They can be off to the front. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and hinge this into the staff pose. And now let's release that leg down, lengthen up, dive this down and over, a nice standing forward full break here. Relax that, maybe relaxing that, nodding that, shaking that head. And breathing. Good. Let's inhale, flat back. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale and around to chair. Bring hands to heart. And let's take it to the other side. So let's go ahead and take our left leg back. So left heel is lifted. And let's go crescent on this side. And then from here, let's open this up. Warrior two. Drop our back arm, take our palm up, peaceful warrior. And then open this back up, Proud Warrior. Release our front leg and let's tilt it down into triangle on this side, opening that arm. Lengthening through that torso. So same thing on this side, we're lengthening through both sides of the torso, lengthening through those arms, really reaching through that. Get a good waist stretch here. and bring ourselves back up into warrior two once again. So bend through that front knee, find your strong warrior two. Good, and then release that leg once again. Walk our back foot in, hands to prayer at low back. Go ahead and turn that and let's find pyramid on this side. So nice flat back, nice strong straight legs. And then from here, we're gonna work into that warrior three balance. So whatever you were doing on the other side, try and work on that same thing on this side. And let's hinge this into a standing staff pose. And then releasing that leg down to the floor. Let's inhale, lift this tall. 
and exhale, dive it down and over. Good, you can place the blocks off to the side. Very nice. Just holding here in this forward fold, allowing yourself to dangle and breathe. Good, let's inhale and sweep it up again. Exhale, dive it down and over. Roll feet back into top of plank. Nice top of plank, drop to our knees. Take ourselves back into a child's pose. This time, let's take our arms by our sides and our palms facing up. Allow those elbows to drop open up to the top. And hands by knees, press ourselves up. Let's go ahead and take ourselves onto our backs, grab your strap, and then grab whatever you need for final relaxation when we get there. But let's for sure grab that strap. So let's take ourselves down onto our backs. Let's go ahead and take that strap around our right foot. And let's pull that right leg in towards the... <laughs> oh. Pull that in towards the torso. And then let's press up through that heel to the ceiling. Pull that leg towards you. Very nice. Let's keep take our strap into our left hand and let's do a deep twist here. So dropping that leg across the body, that right arm is out to the side and maybe looking to the right if that's available to you, if your neck feels okay with that and breathing into this deep, deep spinal twist. Enjoy this. This is kind of bridging us into our final relaxation. <laughs> I say kind of, because this can be pretty intense right here, this spinal twist, especially if you've got some tightness or some soreness. Let's go ahead and bring that leg back to center. Pull that towards you. Bend at the other leg and let's release that strap. And let's go ahead and reach behind our foot, behind our knee, and imagine that we can go ahead and fold that leg onto our belly and chest. And then release that. Good. Let's take that strap around our left foot, bringing that in, giving that a nice big hug. And then let's press up through our heel to the ceiling, pull that leg towards you. Keep our strap in our right hand. Let's drop that leg across the body, deep twist on this side and left arm goes out to the side and maybe you're able to look over to the left and breathe. And let's bring this leg back to center. Pull that towards you, bend at the other leg, release that strap, reach behind the foot, behind the knee, and imagine folding that leg onto the belly or chest. and release that. And let's move into our final relaxation. So grabbing whatever you need for that. If you've got an eye pillow, regular pillow, blankets, whatever you've got for that relaxation, go ahead and grab that. 
And let's lengthen through our legs, through our feet towards one end of the room, reach through our arms, through our fingers towards the other end of the room. Lengthen nice and long, reach nice and long. Maybe that low back can lift up off the floor, but add an inch or two to your height here. Stretch how it feels good for you here. You've got that eye pillow. Maybe you're able to put it over your face, over your eyes. Enjoy the heaviness of that and the darkness of it. And then let's inhale deeply here. And with an exhale, allowing ourselves to sink, to settle, letting those feet just fall open, arms opening off to the side. Relaxing, recognizing if we have any tension or tightness, soreness, anxiety, anything else going on, and trying to breathe, send our breath to those spaces that kind of melt that away, at least for the next few moments. You deserve a few moments to push everything aside. Don't worry, it'll be back there for you if you need to grab it. When you wake back up, but just for a few moments, allow yourself some clarity, some quietness, some freedom. Relax your jaw, relax your face, your eyes. Relaxing. Let's bend our knees and tuck that tailbone under, maybe flattening through that back into the cobra. Slowly, gently, let's drop both of our knees over to your most comfortable side and take yourself onto your side. slowly beginning to press ourselves up, bring ourselves up into a strong but comfortable seated pose where you feel strong, where your body feels strong. And let's lengthen up through our spine. And let's go ahead and inhale and sweep this up. Bring our palms together. And then exhale, eyes following our fingers. Take our chin to chest. Lift the head center, take our fingers to forehead. As we leave today, let us think thoughts of truth. Take our fingers to our lips. As we leave today, let us speak words of love. Take our hands to heart. As we leave today, let our lives be a light of truth and a light of love, having hearts of compassion and mercy, knowing that we have not been given the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, a sound and peaceful mind.
Inhale in deeply. And then exhale it. And one more big, deep cleansing inhale. And a big cleansing exhale. And have a blessed rest of your day. And we'll see you next time.